My child, you have been feeling it, haven't you? That presence that lingers behind you, the one you can't shake off no matter where you go. Don't turn away from what you know to be true deep within your soul, for there is something far greater at play here than meets the eye. The one who follows you has been sent, not by chance but by design. And this design, though unseen by your eyes, has woven itself around your every step. You wonder why this official, this authority, seems to be watching your every move. What you need to understand is that not all who watch you seek to harm. Sometimes their actions are not their own. They, too, are caught in a web of control. It's not the power of man that compels them, but something beyond them. They have been ordered, perhaps unknowingly, to watch you, to follow you, to take note of everything you do. But I see what you do not. I see the strings of power that pull at their hearts. I see the ones who sit higher, the ones who dictate their every move. They are mere instruments, just as you might feel you are. But I want you to know something important you are never truly under anyone's control, not in the way you think. For in every step you take I am there with you, guiding you, holding you, even when it feels like the whole world is against you. The official who follows you is trapped. Yes, they are trapped in a system that dictates their every command. They might appear strong, powerful even, but their power is not their own. They are as much a pawn in this as you are. Yet here is the truth you must hold on to no matter who watches you, no matter who seeks to control your life, their power will never match mine. My will is beyond theirs, my love for you surpasses any chain they could hope to place upon you. So when you feel their eyes on you, when you sense their presence in your life, do not fear. Fear is not of me. I did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Use that power. Walk in that love. Hold on to the truth that no one can truly control you, for I hold your life in my hands, and I am the one who writes your story. Yes, they follow you. Yes, they seem to know your every move, but I tell you this, they do not know your heart. Only I know your heart. Only I see the depths of your soul, and I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, to give you a future and a hope. Do not let the weight of their presence make you doubt that. You are never truly alone, for I am with you, even now as you read these words. The one who controls them, the one who gives them orders might believe they have power. But their power is fleeting, it is nothing compared to mine. They might think they control your fate, but they do not. I do. And I tell you, child, no matter what they try to do, no matter how closely they follow you, they will not win. For I have already written the ending, and it is a good one. I know you're tired. I see the weariness in your heart. I see the way you've begun to question why this is happening. But know this sometimes I allow certain things to happen, not because I want you to suffer, but because I am preparing you for something greater. Every trial you face is shaping you, refining you, making you into the person you were always meant to be. And this official, this follower, they are a part of that refining process. They do not even realize it, but they are being used for a greater purpose. You might not see it now, but one day you will look back and understand why this had to happen. You will see how every moment of discomfort, every time you felt watched, Every time you felt controlled, was actually pushing you closer to the freedom I have for you. Remember this, my child. No one can truly control you unless you allow them to. 
Their power is an illusion. My power is real, and my power is within you. So stand firm in that truth. Walk in that power, and trust that I am working all things together for your good. When you feel like you're being followed, when the weight of their eyes feels too much, come to me. Lay that burden at my feet. Let me remind you of who you truly are. You are not a prisoner. You are not a puppet. You are my child. And nothing can change that. No matter how hard they try, no matter how closely they follow, they cannot take that from you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even when the world feels like it's closing in, even when you feel like there's no escape, I am your refuge. I am your fortress. I am your strength. Turn to me and I will give you peace that surpasses all understanding. A peace that no official, no power, no force on this earth can take away from you. So, my child, hold your head high. Walk in the knowledge that you are seen, you are loved, and you are protected. Their eyes might be on you, but my hand is upon you. And that is what truly matters. You see, my child, the official who watches over you, the one who seems to monitor your every move, is himself bound by chains. Chains you cannot see. These chains are made of fear, of duty, of a power structure that they don't fully understand. They have been told to keep an eye on you, to follow you closely, but their own heart is heavy with burdens they cannot explain. In truth, they are more controlled than you realize. But I want you to see beyond the surface. Look deeper. Not with the eyes of the flesh, but with the eyes of your spirit. What appears to be control, what looks like oppression, is, in fact, an opportunity for you to grow stronger, to learn to trust me more. It's not a punishment. No, it's preparation. Preparation for something greater. Something beyond what you can imagine right now. Do not let the actions of others cause you to forget who you are in me. You are not defined by the way they treat you, by the way they follow you, or even by the authority they try to hold over you. Your identity is rooted in me, in my love, in my purpose for your life. And that purpose will stand, no matter what they try to do. My plans cannot be thwarted by human hands. Do you understand? The one who seems to be in control, who gives orders to the one following you, is not as powerful as they appear. They, too, are bound by forces they do not fully comprehend. Their authority is temporary, fleeting, and it pales in comparison to the authority I hold over your life. You must remember this, my child. Do not give them power over you by believing they have control. They do not. Not truly. I know there are moments when you feel overwhelmed, moments when the pressure seems too much to bear. But in those moments I want you to come to me. I want you to rest in me. For I am the one who holds the keys to your freedom, not them. Never them. Your freedom comes from me, and it is a freedom that no one can take away. This official, this follower, they might think they are doing their job, that they are acting according to some grand plan. But I am the one with the true plan, the one who knows the beginning from the end. And my plan is to see you rise above this, to see you walk in victory. Yes, they follow you, but they do not see the victory that is already yours. They do not see the path I have laid before you. My child, you are walking a road that is filled with purpose. Every step you take is part of a journey that I have designed specifically for you. It may seem like you are being watched, like your every move is being scrutinized, but I tell you this I am watching over you with eyes of love, 
with eyes that see beyond the surface. I am watching not to judge or control but to protect and to guide. You must trust me. Trust that even in this season of feeling followed, of feeling controlled, I am working. I am moving in ways you cannot yet see. And I am using even this situation for your good. Do not let fear take root in your heart. Do not let anxiety overwhelm you. For I am with you and I am for you. And if I am for you who can be against you. The one who follows you is lost, my child. They may not even realize it, but they are searching. Searching for meaning, for purpose, for something greater. They follow you because they have been told to, yes, but also because deep down, their soul is seeking something they do not understand. They are not your enemy. They are a soul in need of my love, my grace, my redemption. I ask you to show them grace, even as they follow you, even as they watch you. For they do not know the full extent of what they are doing. They do not see the spiritual battle that is taking place around them. But you do. You, my child, are aware of the greater forces at work. You understand that this is not merely about control or authority. This is about the condition of the soul about the eternal destinies that are at stake. Pray for them. Yes, pray for the one who follows you. Pray for the one who seems to be controlling your life. For in your prayers I will move. In your prayers I will touch hearts that seem unreachable. I will break chains that seem unbreakable. And you will see that even in this, even in the midst of what feels like oppression, I am doing something miraculous. My child, you are stronger than you know. You are not merely surviving this season, you are growing in ways you cannot yet comprehend. Every moment of discomfort, every time you feel watched, is an opportunity for you to draw closer to me, to lean into my strength, to trust in my protection. Do not be afraid, for I have not left you alone. I am your shield, your fortress, your strong tower, and no matter who follows you, no matter who tries to control you, they cannot touch your soul, they cannot take away the freedom I have given you. Walk in that freedom, even in the midst of being followed. There will come a day, my child, when all of this will make sense. There will come a day when you will look back and see how I used even this, even the presence of the one who follows you, to bring about something beautiful in your life. You are not defined by the eyes that are upon you. You are defined by the eyes that created you. My eyes. Eyes that see you, love you, cherish you. And I am always watching over you, not to control you, but to guide you into the life I have promised you. So rest in this truth you are not controlled. You are free. Free in my love, free in my grace, free to walk the path I have set before you. The one who follows you cannot change that. No power on earth can change that. And I, your God, will see you through to the end, just as I have promised. I declare this will be a week of congratulations, financial breakthroughs, and great health. Subscribe to our channel if you love God. God is saying to you today, great blessings are about to enter into your life because you have believed for so long. You never gave up, you remained faithful. Your dedication, passion, and patience are about to pay off in a major way. Everything is about to make sense. Type 777 if you already believe. The next three days will bring a flood of blessings, miracles, and breakthroughs that will leave you awestruck. You will witness a supernatural shift in every aspect of your life, from your job and finances to your health and relationships. Expect unexpected blessings and an outpouring of love and abundance of everything good. 
you can expect to receive magnificent miracles, unexpected blessings and a double dose of joy and happiness. Type 222 if you believe. Jesus says I have opened a door for you that no one can shut, and nothing can stop the divine plan that has been set in motion for your life in a world that can be tough, God is your refuge and strength, a present help in times of trouble. Before this week comes to an end, your life will be overflowing with so many blessings that all your worries will disappear. The Lord is sending people, resources and finances your way that you never thought possible, and He has assigned angels to protect and guide you and your loved ones. Type 333, if you trust angels. Without faith it is impossible to please God, and those who seek Him will be rewarded. The Lord is transforming your life right now, turning your sorrows into joy and your poverty into wealth. Jesus is the bread of life and whoever comes to Him will never go hungry. He is the light that shines in the darkness, and if you are weary and burdened He will give you rest. Come to Him and experience the peace and joy that only He can provide. Type 555 if you trust Jesus. Dear God, thank you for bringing us to this month. I ask that you keep our family and loved ones safe this month. Watch over us and cover us with your divine protection. Shower us with good health, blessings and strength. Remove any worry, fear, stress and doubt from our hearts. When difficult times come, help us to trust you with all of our hearts and not lean on our own understanding. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer and blessing us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I want to end with a prayer for you, Lord. We seek your guidance and blessings as we navigate this path of love and understanding. As we patiently await the divine alignment of hearts, we ask for strength, patience and the wisdom to recognize the unfolding of this beautiful story. May the realization of love be gentle and profound, touching the deepest parts of our beings. And may the bonds formed be resilient and enduring. As we anticipate the end of this year when expressions of love will be openly shared, we ask for your divine protection and guidance, trusting that all will unfold as it is meant to be. Thank you for your constant presence and support on this journey towards love. Amen. Subscribe to our channel if you love God. Show your support by giving super thanks up to $20. Type 444 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. An important message is waiting for you in the next video, where you'll hear it.